Instructions for the Authors of Teaching Materials in Module Format for the UOC Have you been commissioned to write teaching materials in modules for a UOC course? The following are a few pointers that you should take into consideration regarding structure, form and style before you start to write the materials. What style should I use? We recommend using a direct style that motivates the student without losing the appropriate register for university material. For example, use the first person plural. We will highlight, we will see. When you address the students, however, use the second person or imperative. Check, remember. Use short paragraphs. Don't make references to other modules in the same course material since they have to be able to work as independent units within this or any other UOC course material. Ensure that all the references and citations that you include in the text have the complete corresponding reference in the bibliography if you give it at the end of the module. Don't overuse bold type, italics and inverted commas. What structure should the text have? The contents of UOC subjects are usually organised in different units, which we call modules, and the set of modules is preceded by a presentation or opening remarks. The presentation and the opening remarks may include a brief introduction to the contents, a number of objectives, the table of contents and recommended reading. It may also include a glossary or list of abbreviations, and, if possible, a brief presentation or CV, three lines, and photograph of the author. Each module consists of a cover page, the table of contents, a brief introduction, the objectives of the module and the topic discussed. It may also include a summary or concept map, proposed activities, self-assessment exercises, a glossary, a bibliography or appendices. What formal characteristics should it have? In terms of the form, there are two distinct areas the central text box where the main text is developed, that is, the main content, and the margin, which is used for complementary information, bibliographical references, illustrations, etc. It is important that, as authors, you state the resources that should help the students to assimilate the study contents. Key idea. This serves to understand the content, such as a definition. Complementary content. This is a text that expands an idea that is set out in the main text. Example. It serves to illustrate or exemplify ideas, concepts, procedures or evaluations. Bibliographical reference. This is the complete description of a document that enables it to be identified and searched for and is usually presented in the form of a list at the end of a text. Citation. This is a brief form of bibliographical reference that enables the identification of the source from which a text citation, a paraphrased excerpt, an idea, etc. has been taken. Figures, diagrams, images. These should be presented with the data not in image format. If they are not your own production, the source must be stated. As a general rule, images downloaded from the internet may not be used for legal reasons, except in the case of logos or images in the public use that are free of copyright with a Creative Commons license. If the text is accompanied by images, you must always state that they are free of copyright and, in any event, give the source. How should the originals be presented? You can use any word processor. If you wish, we can provide you with a template for Microsoft Word to help you see what the final version should look like. The text should be submitted with marks for the resources and instructions for the editing and with the tables, graphics or figures that accompany the text. The length required depends on the commission. Bear in mind that a credit is between 35 and 50 pages of 270 words. It is a good idea to use the standard DIN A4 page size with a 1.5 line spacing and Verdana or Arial 12 as the font.